So we're looking for the angle X. Let's do a quick reminder. Let's write out so, ka and toa. And everything revolves around the angle. So in this case, we have the angle X. Let's go ahead and label them. When I jump, it is the opposite. Which is my adjacent, the AB or AC? AB. AB. Because AC is always what? The hypotenuse that is opposite of the right angle. So I know my A and I know my H. So which trig function are we using? Ka, the cosine. So it's cosine of the angle X is equal to the adjacent 8 over 16. Right with me. All right. You can choose to simplify 8 over 16 or you can choose not to. It doesn't really matter. But let's do a recall. If I'm making X by itself, what do I do with the cosine on both sides? Negative, basically the cosine inverse. Because the inverse and the norm cancels out. So now my x equals. We have cosine inverse will be second cosine. And let's do 8 over 16. Simplify if you want. And your angle measurement should always be what for that right triangle? Acute, obtuse, or right? Should be acute. It's 60 degrees, acute. Yep. And it says to find the value of x, so we're done. Okay, any questions on number nine? If you're good, give me a thumbs up. Okay. For number 10, it says to find the value of x and value of y. So let's go ahead and find the value of x first. If I know I have seven here, I know I can go ahead and put seven on the opposite side since we have a rectangle. Okay, let's start labeling. Here's my opposite of the angle, here's the adjacent, and here's my hypotenuse. Because I'm looking for X, which is the adjacent, and I know the O, the seven, which trig function are we using? Which one has O, N, and A? Uh, T. Tangent. Rivers, are you with me? Not really, stay with me please. So we have tangent of 43 is equal to the opposite O over, oh, not the O, seven, right? I need white out. We got seven over X. Okay, what was the rule that I taught you guys as a shortcut? We swap these two. So we have x equals 7 over tangent of 43. Now the x is by itself, meaning we can type it in. So we have um, alpha y equals 7 over tangent of 43. Let's kind of anticipate. Should the answer be greater than 7 or less than 7? Greater, because this angle measurement is how many? 40, 45. is it 45? 40, uh, 47. 47. So we know it's gotta be greater. And it is, 7.5, it's greater. So let's see, we have x equals, um, how should we round on this one? 7 point, 7 I'm gonna say 07. When y'all go to pre-cal next year, your teacher's gonna ask for three decimal places for the side measure. So we'll kind of get in a habit of that. Same with calculus. All right, let's find the y value. For the y value, will it be clever for me to use a rounded value? Yeah. No. You wanna use a rounded value? Absolutely not. So I wanna find the y and I know the o. So which one has h and o? Sine, sine, we have sine of the angle 43 is equal to my opposite seven over the y. Can I use that trick again? Yeah. Swap. So we have y is equal to seven over, ooh, sine of 43. And it should be greater than seven for sure because it's, a, it's the hypotenuse. So we have 
Those of you guys not using the calculator, I'll make sure you don't use it on the exam day. Good luck to you. Gotta practice. Okay, give me three decimal places. 264, very good. 